hey man, I fucking love your show. Thank the show you. is hilarious. Thanks, man. And the the character, the animation, yeah. looks like you. Yeah. It has your lips and your nose. <laughs> yeah. It's really weird. Yeah, it's fucking it's weird, like, right? It's like it looks like you without looking like you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like they captured it. Yeah, it's weird. It's uh, Someone posted, it was right before the show came out this year, someone was like, someone posted like, Japanese, make we make our cartoons uh, cuter. Um, Americans, let's make our characters ugly as fucking possible. And it's and it's my it's me it's as big it's big mouth. It's me as a little fucking kid. And I was like, that's just like I was like, it's a look bummer. That's exactly what I look like. It's it's yeah. hilarious because it looks like you without looking like you. you yeah, know? yeah. That's, there's a real gift to that when people they figure out how to capture the perfect caricature. It's weird that we and we give them even when we. Even if it's like we we try to like when we have new characters, we'll just give them pictures of the people that are playing them and just let them find that version of them. Uh, and even when we don't, we'll give people references because there's something about capturing a real person that makes it specific in a way that you're like, wow, the dudes, everybody can draw, just like draw whoever, which does work. But still, there's something about like being like, no, we want a guy who looks like Rogan. Like they'll they'll get that essence that yeah. creates something that feels more real. It's so weird, but they're great. We have a killer team of people designing all those characters. What I love about your show is, well, I like a lot of things about it, but one of the things that I love about it is that you really can only do that on Netflix. Yeah. It's just like there's it's so unharnessed. Yes. It's just it's just wild and hilarious and there's no boundaries to it. No. That's one of the more amazing things about something like Netflix is that there's just you could do whatever. You can do whatever, you can do whatever length you want, you can do you can say whatever you want. Uh, you have no advertisers who you're either supporting or in competition with. Right. So we can mention brands. Uh, they don't really care about that. They don't care. There's no, ad, you know, when you're on network TV, it's like you got to get an act break. You got the first act has to be eight minutes. The second yeah. act has to be blah, 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 blah. Mm. And even when there's there's more flexibility now, but they, but also, most importantly, they just basically let us do whatever the fuck we want. That's amazing. Yeah. They they've been very uh, good partners creatively. Have for you us. done a stand up special with them? No, I did one special years ago for Comedy Central. Did you just did your, just, yours just came out? Yeah, it just came yeah. out. How yeah, was, how it was how was the experience? It was this is the second one. Well, I've done three with them. Yes. but I did one with them in two thousand five, a long time Whoa. ago. Whoa, yeah, way back in the day. <clears throat> and then I did one two years ago, and this yeah. one. They're fucking amazing. Yeah. They don't bother you at all. No. They just leave you alone. They go, you're funny. Yeah. You want to do a special? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of the thing. They're just yeah. like, you've proven that you can do your thing. Yeah. We're not going to get in the way. And I think they realize, like, oh, we don't get in the way. We just have less work to do. Yeah. And if they find someone like you that mm -hmm. is a funny guy, they just they know you're going to try your best. Yeah. Yeah, like, you're funny. <laughs> you're you're going to... You want it to yeah, be really it's good. It's not a money grab. Yeah. I mean, it's like, you want to go... You want to go fucking do it and do it well, and you know that everybody's going to see it. That's yeah. the thing with them right now, is you're like... I don't know about you, but it's like, I just want... If I'm going to spend a lot of time making something, I want the most amount of possible eyeballs that I can get. Yeah. And that's what they do. Well, especially for a comedy special, yeah. there's really no other game in town. I mean, I, I've had friends that did something on HBO, and I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, well, I want, yeah. And it's like, luck. I mean, I'm just, yeah. <laughs> if it doesn't air, if you don't see it that night, I right. mean, like, there's some streaming services. I know there's HBO Go, but yeah. I would love to see the numbers. I'd be like, curious how many people I mean, are actually love, using those things. I would love to see the numbers across the board. But it is now. It just feels like we were because we went out. We went out wide with the show. We had a couple different offers. And Netflix just seemed like the place where it was like they weren't going to creatively fuck with us and they were and everyone was going to have a chance to see it. And we were going to get like kids like we were going to get anyone like we have like 13 year old, 12, 13 year old kids watching the show. Whoa. Which, which is which is crazy. Yeah. Because it's fucking dirty. <laughs> yeah. It gets pretty dirty. Yeah. But that, it, I love that the masturbation demon, <laughs> the, the, the hormone monster. Touch yourself, Joe. <laughs> Is that your voice? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's me. That was we got the. My, Andrew was like uh, my partners on it. Andrew uh, Goldberg, and Mark Levin, and Jen Flagg were like they were talking about it because Mark and Jen have a kid who's who was around that age when we started doing it. They were just talking about hormones and the, all that shit, and they're like, we should have a hormone monster. And then they're like, yeah, it should just 
be a hormone monster. And then Andrew called me. He was like, we're thinking about doing like a hormone monster. And I just immediately was just like, touch yourself, Andrew. And it just became, it was like, okay, got it. All right, we got him. We got him fucking locked down. And it is, I mean, we have those, we all have those things, you know? Yeah. Sometimes they get integrated, sometimes they don't. Well, it's, I just love that. Just like what you see in South Park and what you see in uh, Bill Burr's show, F is for mm -hmm. Family. Mm -hmm. There's things that you can do in an animated show that are physically impossible in any other form. And it's amazing. Yeah. It's an amazing format. Especially for, I think, for us. Like for if you're a, especially if you're like a comedy brain that doesn't necessarily come straight out of like, classic sitcom writing that what you have other weird ways of getting into something and you want to be able to personify it and like animation just allows you to do it and also allows you to fucking have a bunch like you couldn't do live action stuff with the kid with kids the way we have where you're just like no. it's just too uncomfortable